I am happy to report I have a new member of my crew. Things were getting a little busy. It was time to find another helper. And I'm going to introduce you to him. He's a little shy right now because he's still new. Hey, Jimmy, you want to come say hello? You going to help me build some computers, Jimmy? Are you going to help me, Jimmy? There's a good boy. Now, because uh, Jimmy's brand new for us, he's about uh, somewhere between two and three years old. He doesn't really know many commands. So I'm going to show you how I train him and just basic stuff. And you'll see how easy it is to, to train a dog, especially when you've got one like a German Shepherd that's really smart and wants to, uh, wants to please. So I've got a little treat here that I'm going to break up and give him his rewards. And let's try our first, first session here and see how well you do. And then we'll follow this video up in about, oh, I don't know, eight weeks or something. If we keep doing this every day for about 10 minutes, that's all it takes, about 10 minutes a day. And then you guys can witness the behavior difference and how the training helps. All right, so let's get started. You want this? All right, let's see if you can. Let's get you on camera. You want it? Okay, look at me. Look at me. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Sit. That's a good boy. Yes. He already knew. Sit. We just have to motivate him. Okay. Let's just gonna. We're gonna try down. Granny, look at me. Down. Just lead him down. Down. There we go. Good boy. That's a good boy. Lots of praise with the treat. That way sometimes you can just give him the praise without the treat. Okay. Let's get back up. 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 Come on. Up. Here, if I just walk away from him, he should get up to follow me. Come on. Get up. Good boy. Good boy. Let's come back over here. Is that good? You like that? Sit. Now give me your paw. Now this one he's stuck. <laughs> he, can't, he can't figure this one out. So this will be one we're going to watch for in a few weeks' time to see if he does any better. Give me this paw. Look at me. Give me your paw. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take his paw, and when I hold it, say, good boy. Good boy. Yes, you are. Jimmy. Look at me. Look at, hey. Right here. Uh-uh. See it? You want that? Look at me. See it? Good boy. Good boy. Give me your paw. Look at me. Give me this paw. Give me. <laughs> Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Good boy. Good boy. Now, generally, I try not to teach them too many things in one day. He seems to know sit pretty well. We're very close to getting down, down. And then the, the give me your paw one, well, we're having some difficulty with that. That's not coming natural to him at all. But through repeating this uh, day after day, week after week, it'll start to sink in and he'll start offering me his paw without me asking, which you'll see, if you've seen other videos, you'll see Lyle doing that. And, you know, these dogs, if you want a happy dog, you've got to give it some purpose. You've got, you know, they, they were bred to serve us. And so if you're one of those people that just spoils your dog and doesn't make your dog do anything, you probably have an unhappy dog, despite what you may think. And if you give these dogs jobs and you... Uh, uh, let them do what they were bred to do, you ultimately have a happier dog and you generally don't have the kind of uh, problems uh, that other people with dogs have with uh, whether it's potty training or chewing or things of that nature or even just listening to you. So there we go. Training session number one is done. <laughs>